today's video we're talking about two things first this man you see right here is crying and the reason why he's crying because this is what happened to a grown man that got caught cheating it looks like and got dumped <laughs> he got dumped by his babe he caught she caught him cheating and she posted the video and all of the story time. Then second video we're talking about is marry for convenience. Ladies, you need to marry for convenience. So let me roll some clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. <laughs> Can you go up there? Girl, give us the tea. Give us what happened. That was what everybody was just talking in comment section. Like, uh, it's crime. You 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 cheated and you got caught cheating. It's not like you confessed, you got caught cheating and you got dumped. So why are you crying? What is it with men? Like, what is your take on men that cries when they did something that they know that is wrong and you cut them or you're like talking to them about it and they start crying you know there's some men that cries you know they just do that just to i feel like they do that to manipulate some women like mm, i really love you they just act like and they just cry a little not all men but i feel like just few of them cry what is the point of crying after you got cheating and you got dumped were you dumb <laughs> when you were doing the cheating if you didn't get caught will you cry will you so let me roll the story time and let's see what happened i'll come back to talk about it hi guys so a lot of you guys have been wanting a story time about what happened so i've had a boyfriend mcneil for about five years close friends for about a year he had no drive in life he tried applying to my college but couldn't get in because of his gpa and he ended up going to the army and we thought that was gonna be like his close way to get in. But then I ended up flying down to Fort Jackson to support him at one of his basic training graduation. And then during AIT, he started acting weird. Like I saw the red flags everywhere, but like we would still talk every day. Like we were still together. He ended up getting two phones. I would fall asleep on one phone. New girls every day would fall asleep on the other phone. And then he came home. I ended up going through his phone, found everything in the hidden photos. And so if you wanna go see if your man's cheating, go through the hidden photos. You'll find something. And then, I ended up calling Fatima, the girl you guys are like blowing up in the comments. And she wants to claim that she didn't know about me, but she knew about me. She knew about me, because I called her. Um, she knew that we both had promise rings for each other. Like we were planning on getting married very soon. Um, and then I ended up posting a video that went viral. And a lot of girls been hitting me up saying like, oh my God, I know McNeil, I know McNeil. And they sent me proof of stuff he was doing in the AIT, which is against the code of conduct. Like you're not allowed to have no intimacy relationship. And he was having, you know what, with the girls on base. So karma's gonna get him. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say, baby. She's a baddie with a fatty. <laughs> Our girl dodged, dodged the bullet. <laughs> Imagine they are planning to get married and... <laughs> See, I know that some men will come and say, we love the woman that we love. But when we go out there to cheat, we don't really love those kind of women. We're just doing it for the curls. They just, I don't believe those lies. I feel like they're just... It's just lies. Just, just because I feel like if you really love somebody, you really care about the person so much, you will do so much 
you you don't you don't, you don't want them to get hurt. Anything that's going to make them to get hurt, to cry, to be unhappy, to something to lose them, you would not want to do anything like that. But the men that cheat, <laughs> they say that they love their woman, either their wife, their girlfriend. I love my wife, but you're the you're the main chick, and I just have those sides because. I'm just bored or to just say something and I'm just very happy that our girl dodged the bullet and she didn't go ahead to get married <laughs> to him and yeah he was crying yeah nice one <laughs> speaking of marriage what is speaking of marriage we're moving to the next topic which our beautiful sister over here is speaking of marry for convenience when somebody say marry for convenience what do you think person saying is it that you're trying to protect your future is that you're trying to do something to benefit you always marry for benefits that is what comes to my head when i hear marry for convenience don't marry for love don't marry because you love the person yeah love 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 has to be there but it should not be the main thing marry because you're benefiting something from them and this is why people say that. I feel like why people say that and advise people to marry for convenience or marry for benefits is because the other gender, they do it for benefits. If a man is not benefiting anything from you, if he's not seeing anything he's going to gain from you, if he has not assessed you, assessed your family, assessed your, your, you know, things you can do, and he sees that is aligned with what he has planned, what, how he has planned his future or you know he's not going to come and meet you he's not going to marry you he's not going to want to marry you but we women we see i feel like we just see potential we don't really see things that we're not seeing what's happening at the moment but these men they want they want to see what's you what you have what you have to offer right now and that's why most of them marry for convenience but we remain we tend not to marry for convenience let me roll this clip for you all to watch to the end and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video that i say marry for convenience if nobody has ever told you this i am telling you today marry for convenience this video is for the ladies if you are not a lady scroll marry for convenience and that's because men marry for convenience you know don't marry and I think about toilet and lunging, you know, marry for convenience, whether it's convenience for your future children, whether it's convenience for your own life, marry for convenience because men are very, very, very calculated and crafty when they are taking you to be a wife, you know, they look at convenience also. I don't understand why women, you know, they don't think about that. Yes, if you are in your 20s, marry for love. But if you are in your 40s, if you are a, a Grizzler and you are over 35, there's no need for you to be marrying just only for love. Marry for love, yes, but marry for convenience, you know. Find convenience also in the marriage. Find something that's going to create convenience for your life in the marriage. Baningi abantu abashatela utando guys and dihaibo. It's not enough, you know. Marry for convenience. You know, where find find a way that is also going to bring convenience when you get married. I don't know how much I can uh, unpack this for you, but just learn from men. Men when they marry, they don't just marry you because when you know. You are just a pretty face and you've got curves, you know, and you are, you know, they first look at inconvenience for themselves, you know, whether it's education, whether it's like, you know, your, your, your social status or your whatever status that you have, man, look at those things. What is it? Go, what is it in for him in terms of his children, you know, his family? What sort of convenience are you going to bring for him as a man? Women need to start thinking about this and marry also for convenience, you know? Not just love, guys. Not just marrying for love and until you are 20. You know, people who marry for love are 25 year olds. I mean, for love only, you know? Marry for convenience also, does it? For me, if 
2024, you're still marrying for love only. I love him. I love him. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's more relationship than just love. And I feel like you can love anybody if you want to. And love always comes. And sometimes in a relationship, when you marry for love only, the love fades when reality sets in. Because most of the time, that love you think that was there was just love bombing. You might not even be sure it's real until you're deep in the relationship, then you realize and it hits you and you're like, was this even really love? And you wonder, like, what am I even, even doing with this person? Because... You married for love only. I'm not saying you don't marry for love. I'm not saying you don't love your partner before you marry them or something, but it shouldn't be the only thing. And I will I agree with her when she said you should marry for convenience. Try to think about your future, try to think of how this marriage is gonna benefit you. If in 2024 you are still getting married just because of society, just because you're alone, just because you feel lonely, just because you feel like you're getting older, just, feel, just because you feel like you just need a man, just because you feel like, mm, I also want to be called a Mrs. Somebody. <sighs> I don't know. I just feel like you're doing it all wrong. If the marriage is not going to benefit you, if you've thought about the marriage, you, you're dating somebody and you've thought about, if I marry this person, what is going to add to my life? What is going to, am I going to get so much addition or I'm going to be drained? Are you going to feel more happy or you're going to feel lonely at the same time? You need to look at, you need to wait. You need to actually See how it's going to be okay for you. Uh, what you're going to benefit from the marriage. So I personally agree by marrying for benefits, not just marry for love alone. Because I feel like when you have the benefit in your front and you're benefiting something already from the marriage or from the relationship, love comes. I'm not saying you're not going to love the person. You're going to love the person, but... It comes naturally. And of course, I always say that whatever you want in a relationship, always go for it. But love fades because most people that are married for 50 years, they celebrate their 50 years anniversary, go ask them. Most of them don't love each other anymore. They're just living together as roommates. Most of them don't even stay in the same room. They're just housemates. They're just co-parenting in the same apartment because when you ask those couples, they tell you, our love died so so yeah in the relationship. So love fades. It fades because if you don't keep burning the love fire every time, it fades. And a lot of things can make the love to stop burning. So if your mind just because of love only, if the main reason you're getting married is just for love only, you need to actually reconsider in 2024. You need to see how you can benefit, how this marriage can benefit. That is my own opinion, to be honest. I, I know that I might be right or wrong, but you might have your own opinion. You can kindly put your thought down in the comment section. Do you think that you can marry for love alone or you should marry for love and for convenience and, and for benefit? Or you can advise somebody that wants to get married and telling you, oh, I just want to marry this person because I love him. I love him. Would you just tell the person just go ahead or something? Or you will tell the person like what are you what what is what are you benefit from this marriage that you want to enter like this? What do you think you're going to benefit? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Is it just me? Or oh, I'm not alone. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section respectfully. And thank you all so much for tuning in in today's video. Don't forget to like and share. And subscribe is your favorite girl, Maria David. And thank you so much again for joining. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.